Hello everyone, my name is Christopher Martin. I'm going over my blog, Diamond Painting the New Art. This class is for UVU 3020, scratch at 3080, my mistake. Now, for my blog though, I want to go over the market research, competitive research, target marketing, and positioning. Now, to start, I want to talk about market research. Now, diamond painting was invented in 2010 but it's been relatively unknown until about 2020 which we all happen knows when the pandemic decided to go ahead and pay us all a visit then hobbies at home definitely shot up now moving over to the competitive research i found that there are two companies out there that would be my competition that i have to you know, fight with here first let's go over the diamond art club they specialize in unique paintings, nothing crazy, but some nice, cool style paintings. They also sell special tools that you'll see on my blog that are really good to help. And another thing that Diamond Art Club does that I really give them some kudos for is they're heavily involved with children. However, where I believe they are lacking in is they are not focusing very much in nostalgia like all oh, Harry Potter and all kinds of stuff that would grow Pokemon being the big thing now going over to paint with diamonds the big feature with them which is really nice is they specialize in uploading photos so you have a family photo pet photo any kind of thing I mean you can even have a photo of your car if you want to go that far diamond thing now, they are not quite as unique as Diamond Art Club, which is alright, we all have our own thing. And again, they kind of try to dive into nostalgia, but are coming up really small in that area as of now. Uh, to continue on, target marketing and positioning. Now, the target range here is going to prefer mostly females, but there are males that enjoy diamond painting as well. Now the ages is kind of open between 12 and 60, but it it can still vary. It's just old, slightly older than 12 is probably the better route to go. And with the pandemic, working at home and having an activity or hobby at home is a great thing to do at this point. Now as for positioning, where I want to go with this blog is I want to do a lot of focusing on nostalgia. Nostalgia is the thing right now. And gotta get it while it's hot. And best yet, I think this picture explains exactly just how nostalgia is going. Just look at how the Pokemon card have gone. McDonald's 25th year anniversary edition Pokemon cards sold out. Nostalgia is here, and it doesn't look like it's going anywhere soon. But enough of my slides. So let's move on to my diamond painting, the new art blog, where I have the blogs posts about me, photo gallery, frequently asked questions, contact number information, and I got a cute little picture of a diamond painting bookshelf with the two dragons up here. Now proceeding on, I want to go ahead and mention that it, this is a new, sorry, an, an adventure. Diamond paintings can be quite an adventure. There's different types of paintings, there's numerous kinds. It's a journey. But going further down here, you can see a few of my blogs listed here. We'll go over that category in a moment. And just to go over some of the nostalgia type diamond painting styles, I like to start with Harry Potter, Hogwarts. I'm pretty sure everybody here knows Harry Potter. Legend of Zelda for those gamers out there. Pokemon, because at this point, the Pokemon is everywhere. And lately, the big hit is the Mandalorian, Mandalorian with Baby Yoda, Star Wars, and everything you can imagine. So let's proceed and jump up here really quick to the About Me category. And as you can see, my name there, what I do. Uh, I do have the Contact Me function available so you can, anybody can get a hold of me. A little small biography about myself. And a few, just a few things, and a couple of websites that you can get a hold of me, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube. Now, going over to my photo gallery section, these are a lot of photos that I was able to do myself since I started about a year ago. 
As you can see, I got a little Star Trek, my own Legend of Zelda one, Rose. Uh, this one here shows you what you can end up doing, getting it in a picture frame, and just how nice they can look. Uh, Baby Yoda, Winnie the Pooh, Legend of Zelda. I mean, quite a few pictures. I want people to really see when it's finished, just kind of a little sample of what it could really turn into. Now, moving over to here to my frequently asked questions. Uh, there's a lot of questions that people tend to have. I want to make it as easy as possible to go ahead and try to answer the questions without people getting frustrated waiting for an answer. I want to help out as many people. I don't want to turn any way, anybody away from diamond painting. It's, it's supposed to be fun, relaxing. Yeah, it's an activity. Now, also here at the end, I have a contact us list on the end. I wrote my hours, write your name, email, get back to you. Pretty self-explanatory. Jump over to my blogs here. I have quite a few, few blogs here, about ten, but I want to go ahead and mention that I have posted a quick little video. As you can see, there my son's in there, who's helping me, and this is just a snippet or a generic way of looking how to do diamond painting. So I don't want anybody to get discouraged or anything because of this different sizes. There's millions of beads it looks like. It's an activity, it's an adventure, and it, it's well worth it. So best thing to do is read some of my blogs, comment, tell me your opinion. I want to hear about what other people have tried. I want to talk to other diamond painters. I want people to go ahead and teach me a few tricks, some new things and everything. And at the end of the day, let's enjoy ourselves. It's fun. Let's go have some fun. Thank you. Till next time, stay in touch.